Okay. Show me. Hi there, welcome back to the Dutch Ashi channel. Thank you very much for watching. And I've got a new show and tell and a short test of this product over here. Uh, what is this? It is a power meter by Turnergy uh, Hobby King. Now, um, what is this thing? It uh, is meant to measure the uh, power of your propulsion setup. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> um, your propulsion setup uh, being a motor with propeller, an ESC, a battery, uh, a lipo in most cases. Um, and if you want to be real pure in it, uh, also um, the wire and wire length you are using. Um, so, um, this is uh, by the way version 2. Of this product by Hobby King. Um, I'll show you uh, a, a picture of the previous version uh, right now. I do not have the previous version, I never have, but um, you might have uh, come across it in uh, videos by um, uh, RC model reviews and there are a few changes uh, between uh, this version 2 and the previous version. Um, as you saw in the picture of the previous version, this uh, motor mount cross over here, this is where your motor will mount to, uh, that cross is lowered. I hope that's visible, but um, in the previous version it was um, up over here. Now the center of your motor will correspond to the center of this here plate, this one. Um, why have they done that? Um, I, uh, in theory, this should make for a more accurate measurement of your thrust. I won't go into the theory uh, very much, but you, I, I hope you can imagine that if this motocross is higher up, it'll not only try to pull this plate forward or backwards, uh, it'll also try to tilt this plate because the center of uh, pull isn't uh, in line with the center of this plate here. So once again this should in theory be more precise. Um, one other difference uh, on the measurement uh, side of this uh, device is that this one can uh, measure push. Um, the previous version could only measure pull, so a motor pulling this way, this way. Uh, this one can also um, measure negative thrust, so power in that direction, if you uh, want to try a pusher setup. Okay, so that's, that's definitely a benefit. Now, uh, while we're at it, uh, as you can see here, you see the, uh, the motor mounting assembly. You've got a bearing over here and, on, and one on the other side, of course. You can't see that. Um, and over here, this block with the figure 8 in it. That's actually your scale, an electronic scale. Um, I'll go over the accuracy or lack thereof in, in a few minutes. And over here you also see a, an, an alternate motor mounting plane. So you can take this one here off, two screws. And if your motor is uh, bigger than uh, the, the standard motor plate can accommodate, you can use this one. Very, very nice. Okay, let's turn it this away. And if you have seen videos in which the previous power meter was used, you'll uh, instantly see that this one has one display more. This isn't an, a solar panel or anything. This is a display as well. And this is the display that the previous version also had. 
Uh, this here, this uh, potentiometer is new. And um, obviously I'll explain what everything does in a, in a minute. Um, it has three buttons over here, that's uh, in line with the previous version. And over here uh, you see an uh, XT60 in and out. The previous version did not have that either. And you have two ESC connectors. Um, yeah, so um, let's let's see. Yeah, so, uh, the the previous version only measured thrust um, in kilograms or pounds or ounces. But uh, well, that's all it did. It was only a digital scale, more or less. Now in this version 2 they have combined that version 1 with a thing like this, a uh, servo tester which is also a uh, potentiometer um, and they've integrated that over here. So you don't need this one anymore, very nice. And this second display also shows you the um, efficiency of your setup. So your uh, amperage and wattage and voltage, which is very nice. So they've also integrated a device like this. Uh, maybe you know those. Um, if you want to see what the power consumption of your setup is, you just put this thing in between the LiPo and the ESC and after your flight or after your test, this device will show you what the maximum amperage was, a maximum voltage, uh, blah blah blah. blah. So um, they they have integrated this or this uh, a device like this into the power meter, and you now uh, well uh, you now throttle up with this potentiometer over here and uh, this display will show you the voltages and the amperage and the wattage and this here display will only show you uh, kilograms, pounds. Okay, so let's um, briefly um, go into the, the accuracy or lack thereof of a machine like this or a device like this. Um, obviously I only have one of these and to accurately test if these are very accurate I would have to test a lot of them. Um, regrettably I could only test one of them and I've tested uh, the accuracy of the scale with a digital scale like this. Um, that wouldn't be sufficient either of course. I've also tested it with an analog version of this and two other digital scales. And this here scale turned out to be 0 0.08 grams off. Um, in my book that's pretty accurate. Uh, accurate enough for me at least. Um, once again I do not know if uh, others will be as accurate as well, but mine, well, uh, I, maybe I got uh, lucky. Uh, with this scale. So uh, for me this will be a pretty accurate measuring device. Obviously I tested it with uh, a different weight um, up to 5 but uh, starting out with uh, 100 grams, uh, 3 kilos and a 5 kilogram uh, weight. And uh, the error uh, was about the same in every me measurement. Now um, Getting back to uh, this motor mount here, um, I should have mentioned that <laughs> before, but uh, there is a trade-off to this motor mount being lower over here, because certain motors have a an axle that uh, protrudes to the, uh, the to the back um, for alternate motor mount for propeller mounts, um, and there is. A bit an, uh, an indentation over here for that, and obviously at the front it has a hole over here. Uh, is it visible? Yeah, I can poke this screwdriver in there. However, if the axle on your motor is longer than this space here allows, yeah, then you're uh, basically out of luck. <laughs> okay, um, 
if you have the knowledge and um, uh, equipment to machine aluminium, um, you might be able to uh, expand this cavity uh, over here uh, a bit to uh, have that not be a problem. However, that's, uh, well, not everybody knows and has the equipment to machine aluminium. Okay, so... Um, Let's see. Yeah, uh, the the power of the this, the power meter is powered by uh, a by two double A's. They are uh, in this uh, box over here. And um, let's see. Yeah, over here you uh, obviously have an input and an output uh, for uh, your ESC and LiPo. So over here you will attach a, a LiPo. Over here you will attach a LiPo and the uh, ESC will then be connected to this. Um, there are two uh, ESC signal ports over here. Let's see actually what the manual says about that. Yes, it does come with a manual and the manual says here that the top Connector is for batteries only uh, in case you have an opto ESC, so without a BEC, and the bottom one is for your throttle. Okay, well, we'll just try what happens. Um, let's see, yeah, next thing I should really do is show you how things are connected to these things. To this thing, sorry, and uh, what it shows you. Hold on. Okay, as you can see, the scenery has changed a little. Um, power meter, a, a motor has been attached. This is a 2200 kV motor and with a 6x4x3 propeller. We've got an ESC over here and we've got a LiPo and that's all we need to measure our thrust. So once again, you are not only testing uh, your motor here, you are testing the combination of that, of that motor with this propeller, with the ESC and the LiPo. Um, I hope that makes sense. For instance, if you would want to take the LiPo out of the equation, uh, you should really just use a LiPo that, that you are sure of uh, that it can deliver the, uh, the power consumption uh, demanded by the rest of the setup. Um, okay, so let's connect everything up. We'll connect the LiPo over here. I must say that connector is a bit fiddly, but uh, there we go. And as you can see, well, the ESC has started up and this display as well. Um, it tells me what the voltage of my LiPo is and obviously we have not measured any thrust or amperage uh, by this time. Um, this uh, display is still off. You've got uh, the, the left switch over here powers that on. There. And we are at zero grams. Now um, if this uh, doesn't say zero you can reset it with the right uh, the button on the right but that uh, probably also tells you that uh, your surface isn't level um, let me try to show you there now it says 20 grams and that's just because the motor is now the motor weight is now pulling on the scale okay um probably going to darken my lighting a bit so you can really see the displays. Hold on. Alright, before I begin I should note that you can screw the pl base plate down. There are two screw ho holes over here and two at the front. Um, I'll just uh, hold on to the, <laughs> to the device uh, in this uh, test and I won't go crazy with the throttle. Okay, so I'll throttle up a little.
Okie dokie, there we go. Um, as you saw, I uh, throttled up to about 360 grams and um, I didn't really uh, take note of the amperages, but uh, now at this moment it'll cycle through the peaks. So the peak voltage, peak amperage and peak wattage. And um, you instantly also see a drawback of this device. It does not show you the peak grams, the peak thrust. You'll just have to uh, uh, keep that uh, in your mind. So, uh, well, it, it would have been very, very nice if this device would show you the peaks. Okay, and what? Then have we measured here? Well, obviously uh, an amount of grams, uh, amps and voltage, but in a static environment. So uh, a static thrust, that's the only thing we have measured. Now, obviously, if you would attach this motor setup to a plane, um, you'd only have this uh, static thrust and voltage and amperage uh, before taking off, uh, for instance, when, uh, while you're holding on to the plane. Uh, once in flight, uh, everything will change. Um, is that uh, terrible? Well, at least you know by measuring this uh, with this uh, power meter what the worst case scenario would be. Is that true? Well, almost, almost but uh, close to the worst case scenario. So the peak uh, amperage, voltage uh, that your setup will draw. Now, um, like I mentioned before, it could of course have been that the LiPo I'm using couldn't deliver the thrust demanded by my setup. So uh, once again, if you want to have a real measurement of the peak uh, voltage and amperage of your motor setup, you'll have to use a LiPo that uh, can deliver anything your motor setup would ask of you. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I think uh, that covers the device. Uh, you'll probably see it in uh, future videos of mine now uh, if I uh, test motor setups or test propellers or uh, LiPos. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer those. Uh, this would be a nice time, of course, for you to subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. And I hope to see you back in another video. Bye-bye.